Everyone knows what the map of Britain looks like, right? Even a child in school with a crayon could draw the map of Britain. But think again, because what we think of as the map of Britain is only the map of the land. Now I'm here from Norfolk Wildlife Trust to tell you why what's going on out in the sea is every bit as important as what's going on inland. Now for decades, indeed a century at the Wildlife Trust, we have been protecting what's going on on the land. We've got fantastic nature reserves for marshes, for woods, for chalk grasslands, every kind of habitat you can name, we're on land looking after it. But guess what? What's going on behind us in the sea is every bit as exciting, every bit as special, but nowhere near as protected. In fact, it's estimated that half of all the creatures that live here in Britain, half of all the animals, half of all the plants, live in the sea. Some people reckon there may be 10,000 species of life going on in the sea around Britain, in British waters. But guess what? Only naught point, naught, naught, one percent of the seabed in Britain is protected. That's so amazing, I'm going to say it again. Only naught point, naught, naught, one percent of the seabed in Britain is protected. That's a disgrace. On land, we're used to the idea of nature reserves. We're used to the idea that our rare plants and animals and habitats are protected. But here in the sea, they're not. Now at the Wildlife Trust, we really want them protected. So for years, we've been campaigning for a marine act. And now, at last, it's been passed. However, the next step is translating the marine act into a meaningful network of marine protected areas around the country. Just here in Norfolk, we have a fantastic selection of proposed marine protected areas around the coast. To our west, in the wash, fantastic mud flats coming around the coast, salt marshes. From here to the east, a unique and recently discovered set of chalk reefs. Perhaps the most extensive chalk reef system in Europe. And guess what? Just since it's been discovered in the last couple of years, a new species of sponge has been found living here. That's not just new for Norfolk, that's new for science. Funnily enough, I happen to have a sponge with me. Not too pretty, and trust me, if you keep one in your car for a day or two, it really begins to honk. But a sponge, when it lives in the sea, is a fascinating, wonderful animal. And here we have a fascinating, wonderful plant. This one's called toothed rat, which is one of the many species of seaweed that live here in Britain. In fact, as I said, up to 10,000 species are estimated to be living around our coast, protected in just 0.001% of the British seabed. So what are we going to do about it? Well, we at the Wildlife Trust continue campaigning for a meaningful network of marine protected areas, just like the protected areas that we have on the land. But what can you, as members of the public, do? The first thing is to show your support for the Wildlife Trusts. You could join your local Wildlife Trust. If you live here in Norfolk, join Norfolk Wildlife Trust at norfolkwildlifetrust.org.uk. But wherever you are in the country, you can take part in what we call National Marine Week. Now in 2012, this is taking place from the 28th of July until the 12th of August. Now I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, hang on a second, that's two weeks. Yes, when we started Marine Week, it was just a week long. But that was years ago, and since then we've found out tons more about how exciting and amazing the sea around Britain is. So we've had to expand National Marine Week to two weeks. Two weeks of events taking place all over the country, not just in counties with a seashore. But here in Norfolk we have tons of them, and you can find out about them too at norfolkwildlifetrust.org. But for a next step, why not go to the Wildlife Trust's website? That's wildlifetrusts.org, as simple as that. And there, clicking the tab to Marine Campaign at the top of the page, you can find out tons of information about what we're doing in the UK, in the Wildlife Trust movement, to protect the sea. After that, get involved. Bring your families to the seashore. Come to North, but go to any of the counties of the country that have a seashore. Get involved. Because the more we know about the beautiful, amazing creatures, the wonderful wildlife living in the British seas, the more we'll do to protect them. And here at Norfolk Wildlife Trust, we reckon it's all worth protecting.